Hello and welcome. It is December 2022 and much of America is gripped by blizzards causing icy road conditions. This has led to multi-vehicle pileups as vehicles slide on ice. Icy runway surfaces have also led to many flight cancellations. Who decides if a runway surface is too slick to allow the safe operation of aircraft? Breaking action reports from pilots were considered subjective depending on the pilot's skill as well as the aircraft type, weight, landing speed and a host of other factors. What tools would be needed to measure whether a runway is safe? To measure surface friction, the British Road Research Laboratory devised a meter consisting of a damped pendulum measuring g-force. A car is brought to a speed of 30 miles per hour, wheels locked, and after one second, the brakes released and the reading taken. Factors such as the weight of the car, suspension, whether it had ABS, and the type of tyre affected the test. Less prone to reading errors is the Tapley test, the original brake test meter in production for over 100 years. This is the most recognized international standard decelerometer, results of which are accepted as evidence of braking efficiency in courts of law. A vehicle with a Tapley instrument on board is driven at 20 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour and brakes fully applied. The vehicle might pull up sharply or simply slide on regardless. Then there is the cock and spaniel test where the driver places the dog in the passenger seat, drives down the runway, then hits the brakes. If the dog remains on the seat, braking action was poor to nil. If the dog stumbled but remained on the seat, braking action was deemed fair. If the cock and spaniel fell onto the floor, then braking action was pretty good. Perhaps not the most scientific method. Braking tests are conducted on newly laid pavements as well as runways subject to sandstorms or flooding. Besides determining whether it is safe to land an aircraft, it is important for takeoffs too. If a takeoff is aborted, an aircraft will break hard and depend on friction from the runway to stop. Eventually, braking action was reported in terms of MU value the coefficient of friction between the runway and the aircraft's tyre. The runway condition assessment matrix shows MU values from 20 or lower to 40 or higher, giving operators and pilots a standardised language. The runway codes range from 6, which is a dry runway, to 0, which is when a runway must be closed. The FAA TELPA initiative brought all of these factors together. Thank you for watching. Comments always welcome. Like, subscribe and hit that notify bell.